Hey everybody, we are going to take a look at how to use Wisconsin's digital library today. This is how you can access it from your computer. Your URL is right here at the top, wplc.overdrive.com. That stands for Wisconsin Public Library Consortium, which is the group that we're a part of that brings you the digital library, which is this website you see right here. You can also find a link to that on our website. Now, the first thing you need to do is sign in. That's over here, little orange button. So if we click on that, it'll take us to the sign in page. Now under here where it says welcome, it says select your library. It remembers me. So it already says South Central Link Cat Libraries. We are part of the South Central Library System and we use Link Cat. You could also type in Monroe and we would show up right here, Monroe Public Library, South Central Library System. Either way, those both work. And then you can enter your card number. That's gonna be the whole number on your card without spaces. There we go. And then click Sign In. Awesome, now that you're logged in, it takes you right back to the front screen. So you can start looking at what's on the home page right here you can see that the first Harry Potter book is available without wait during April and as you scroll down it's got some more ideas audiobooks for the whole family and this is where you can start to see how just at a glance you can um, see whether the books available or not so right here at the top we've got available you could check those out right away these two they have a wait list so down here at the bottom, you could place a hold, place a hold. The ones that are available, you can borrow. And these, as it says up in the title, are audiobooks. So they have this little headphone symbol and they say audiobook right there. Here you can see the Lucky Day collection. These check out for seven days, but there's no wait. So you can browse this if you want something popular right away. This is a lot like our most wanted collection at the Monroe Library. It's going to be books that you can check out right away that might be of super interest to you and it's your lucky day if it's available. Another great thing is that there are lots of classics, books that are in the public domain that are always available. And they've got a nice list of those here. You can always click on see all to get more information. They are clearly doing a very good job during this time to show things that are available on the front screen, which is awesome. And you can tell here that this, um, in this list, Comfort Reads, Literary Hugs, these are all ebooks. They have the little book sign by them. All kinds of great stuff. There's lots of good lists on the front page, so you can just scroll through take a look, see if there's something you like. We'll go back to the top. If you know something specific you're looking for, you can do that right here in the search with the little magnifying glass. If you click on that, it pops up a search bar so you can type in what you're looking for. Often when I go to the digital library, I'm looking for an audiobook because they're really easy to listen to on your phone. And an audiobook narrator I really like is Julia Whalen. So I could type her in, and you can see a bunch of things pop up. She actually wrote a book, so this one's an ebook. But then these other things are audiobooks that she narrates. She is a popular reader, and a lot of the books that she reads are popular books, so we've got some wait lists here. But that's okay. You can take a look and see what pops up. Once you do the search, you could go over here to the sidebar where it says things like availability. So you can click on what's available now. That'll change it so you just get available up here at the top. And you can also sort either by ebooks or audiobooks. So that way, if you know what you're looking for, you can select it here. Now most of the books are going to be available in every format, 
but if you are specifically reading on a Kindle, you'll want to click that one. Otherwise, you should be good to go. What you can do is go over to the advanced search. That way, when you type something in, you can just select things that are available right now from the availability menu. And while you're there, you could also select any um, your format. So you could select the ebook or the audiobook. Let's take a look. Awesome. So this is going to be Nora Roberts ebooks that are available right now. Super fun. So I'm going to show you how to borrow by choosing this one here, Nora Roberts Daring to Dream. If I click right here at the bottom, the little orange word that says borrow, it'll pop open a menu for you. Now right here, there's a little drop down menu where you can choose how many days you check it out. If you click on that, it'll give you the option. Um, usually you can check out ebooks for 7, 14, or 21 days. You can check out the audiobooks for 7 or 14 days. So once we select that and click borrow, then this pops up. It tells you how long it's checked out till May 15th. And it gives you these options right here. What I like to do though is close the X and see all of this from the accounts page. So that's where we'll go next. We'll close the X. We'll go back to the top. And then right here it says my account. Here you have some options. You can see your loans, your holds, and then a few more things. So we'll go look at the loans because that is what going to show us what we just checked out. Check it out. And here is our Nora Roberts book. So there's a few options here. One thing you can do is read it right now in your browser. And that's what I like to do best when I'm on my laptop. Click. It pops it right open in another window. And it just shows you the book right there. If we go back to our loans page, you'll see that another option here is to download the EPUB. That's what you're going to want to click in order to read it on the app. So you can see right here, they're giving you a little promo for the app. It's called Libby. And if you were on your phone through the Libby app, the digital library would look just like this. And on your account page, you would click on download EPUB book. And that would let you read it on your phone wherever you are once you've downloaded it. We are going to look up an author I really like, Kevin Wilson. All right, so, oh, there's a little bit of a wait list for his books. This one was his most recent, nothing to see here. So down here at the bottom, instead of borrow, it says place a hold. So if I click on that, it will pop up and ask you to enter your email address. So once you enter the email, then you click the orange button that says place a hold and then it will pop open success and tell you where you are on the list. Now we'll click the little X to close this window. We'll go back to my account and this time we'll look at our holds. Holds. And you can see here when you place the hold what the wait time is and whether you want to change the email that it will contact you at suspend it, which means that you stay in your spot on the list, but it doesn't come in for you, or remove it, which means that you don't want it anymore. Now, the wait time for new and popular things can be a long time. This one was on Jenna Bush's Today Show book club, Read with Jenna, so that's part of why this one is very popular. And sometimes it's because there's only one copy of a book, like this one here. Sometimes when you know just what you want to read, it's worth it to wait, just like you would with a regular book. Sometimes those new popular authors can take quite a bit of time to come in. But that's why I showed you all of the currently available items. If we go back home just by clicking on the logo in the top left corner, there were lots of options on the front page that are available right now. And you can always use the 
information in the sidebar or the advanced search to just search for things that are available right now. If you have any questions about Wisconsin's Digital Library, please get in touch with us. We'd be happy to help you. If you don't already have a library card with us, we can help you set up a virtual card that will be accessible during the library closure, and that will help you get started with the Digital Library as well. Thanks for taking a look at the Digital Library with me. Have a great day.